Now at five, what's best for students being in the classroom or learning at home? That's the question Columbus City Schools is tackling, but it is not an easy answer. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Yolanda Harris. Andrew's off tonight. And while the teachers union pushes for a two week pause in in person learning, the superintendent of Columbus City Schools and other city leaders came together to explain why they want to keep the schools open. 10 TV reporter Kevin Landers has reaction from both sides. What's best right now is being in person in classrooms to the greatest extent possible. One by one. I know that there is no more productive and safer place during the day than for our children to be in school. A united front of educators and the mayor. We, as a community, have a responsibility to our children to continue in-person learning because school is safe. Came together in support of in-person learning and dispelling the myths that classrooms are unsafe for children to learn. Transmission is not occurring in the classroom when all the public health mitigation efforts are in place. According to Columbus Public Health, there have only been 2,075 COVID cases among teachers, staff, and students this academic year. That's less than 5% of their population if you include all their students, their staff, and their teachers. So the, the classroom is not a risk factor. That's not how the Columbus Teachers Union sees it. They don't test, so how would you know? We don't test our, we don't test our kids. We only test kids when they're symptomatic. The Teachers Union says its members are getting sick from teaching in the classroom. It's just kind of, it's, it's comical. To, to listen to folks who haven't stepped foot in uh, schools to tell us, you know, to gaslight teachers, basically. What we see is not what's really happening. We're there, we're on the front lines every single day. The district superintendent says the numbers speak for themselves that more schools are doing in-person learning than those teaching remote. 41 of our 112 school buildings have had at least one day of remote learning over the past two weeks. The remaining 71 schools have held in-person learning each day. The district says it provided teachers and staff 45,000 N95 and KN95 masks to teachers last week. While the union has asked for a two week pause in in-person learning in an attempt they say to reduce COVID cases in school, the city is urging teachers to remain in the classroom. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Well, the president of the teachers union says he's not sure what their next course of action is when it comes to pushing for two weeks of virtual learning for all.